Hi, I'm Radisham Ruikar and welcome to my channel. Today we we'll talk about a Kattupayadi system. It's an ancient Indian system. In ancient India, numbers are not only represented by symbols but also represented by letters. It is a very interesting system. If you are studying ancient Indian literature or a Indian uh, ancient Indian mathematics, so this video is very useful for you. So let's watch. Katapayadi is an ancient system of representing numbers with a Sanskrit alphabet. It offers the convenient way to remember very large numbers by encoding them into sentences of prose or poetry. Some historians attribute the origin of a system to Vararuchi, a brilliant scholar from Kerala who lived during the 4th century CE. Katapayadi uses the Sanskrit consonants to representing numbers at the decimal system. Thus, the first consonant K is assigned to the numerical value 1. The second consonant K is assigned the value 2, and so on, till the OA gets the J, which is represented by the 9, and N by 0. The numbers are then assigned to the next set of 10 consonants in a similar manner. In this scheme, we therefore end up having a multiple alphabets representing the same number. The number 1 is mapped to the alphabets K, T, P and Ya, which is uh, pronounced together gives Katapayadi, when Adi in Sanskrit means etc. The vowels are Swarakshara are not assigned the any numerical value. Example, k, ka, ki, kai, ke, kau, ki, and ki all represent the number 1. The scheme of backing numbers to the alphabets is summarized in a single line from a text Ratnamala, a mathematical treatise written by the scholar Shankar Varman in 1890. With a such a scheme, one can bundle different alphabets together to form a meaningful words and sentences who represent in numbers. The vowels of swaras which do not have any numerical significance serve the purpose of embellishing the words and achieving the poetic meters. A few simple rules have to be followed by encoding and decoding numbers under the Katapayadi system. The approximate says that the numbers would move in their place value from left to right. The least significant decimal place is written first on the left and the most significant is written last on the right. The decoding would work from right to left. For example, 2765 is written as 5672 but read as 2765. Here is an another example of name Rama would be correspond to 25 in Katapayadi. But when we read by application of this rule, Rama becomes an encoding for the number 52. Historically, more recent use of Katapayadi in some instances has not followed the sequence of decoding from right to left. The following verse from Sadratnamara can explain the remaining rules of Katapayadi. Once we understand how the Katapayadi system is designed, we can start playing around with the alphabets to come with the words, sentences or words that representing various numbers. An example is a verse that appears in the Sadratna Mala that brilliantly illustrates the convenience of a Katapayadi. When we record the words using the Katapayadi matrix, we get the series of digits that correspond the value of pi correct up to 17 decimal places with the last digit rounded off to the 4. The decimal point is as absent here since Katapayadi does not have way to encode it. 
A more important example is the 4th century mathematician Madhava uses of Ghatapadi to encode the values of trigonometric sine functions from 0 to 90 degrees in multiplies of 3.75 degrees. In his table, sine value of each angle appears as a short Ghatapadi phrase. The table of value can be easily reconstructed by remembering these phrases in a right order. Chandravakya is our another set of example where Kattopayadi is used. Written in the 4th century CE by Vararuji, Chandravakya is a collection of sentences representing 248 numbers meant for calculating the position of a sun and moon for any time of the year. These numbers were extensively used for computations of native almanacs predicting the position of a moon. Much later, in 14th century, Madhava wrote down his work Venvaroha, a new set of sentences to encode similar numerical values to much greater, much greater precision. One of the most fascinating example of Kattapayadi is it used in a South Indian classical music. The melodic scale in the Indian classical music are known as ragas. In the South Indian classical music tradition, Melakarta is a collection of 72 ragas. The Melakarta ragas are also called Sampurna ragas or complete ragas as they all have stated awareness of notes of octave in a both the ascending and descending scales. In this, Kattapayadi is used to name the ragas. The first two syllables of raga Charukeshi, Kattapayadi for number 26, is raga's position in the Melakarta sequence. By knowing just the name of a Melakarta raga, one can therefore work out its number in the Melakarta system and from there establish their ascending and descending scale with the help of some simple mathematical functions like division and addition. It has to be noted that there are some Mailakarta Ragas such as Chakra Raga, Divya Mani, Chitrambari that does not follow that rule for a different reason. Another fascinating example of use of Katapadi comes from Narayaniyam, a famous devotional hymn in Sanskrit. Written by the celebrated mathematician linguist Melapatu Narayana Bhattathiri in 16th century. The hymn concludes with the words Ayur Arogya Sankhyam. Taken literally, these words are promise of long liberty, health, and happiness that one would inherit in life. Interestingly, these words are Ayur Arogya Sankhyam is more than just a wish. Applying Katapayadi to these words establish the day on which Melapatur uh, completed the work Narayaniyam. It represents the Kali Dila Sankhya, which is the number of days since the start of the Kali Yuga as per the Malayalam calendar. The Kali Dila Sankhya is the parameter that has been used in Kerala for several centuries. But some scholars say the Katapayadi is much older than we think. A very interesting possible manifestation of Katapayadi from much earlier comes from the epic Mahabharata. The original name of the epic given by author Vedavyasa was Jaya. In a Katapayadi system, Jaya codes for 18, a requiring numbers in the epic. In the Mahabharata is divided into 18 parvas or volumes. There are 18 chapters in Bhagavad Gita which belongs to Mahabharata. The, the deceive battle of Kurukshetra lasted for 18 days. In uh, that war, 18 Akshavani participated. Preface The Katapayadi system existed even at the time when Mahabharata epic was written several centuries earlier to BCE. Much of work of our ancestor got lost in a passage of time. The main reason is our tradition is oral tradition, that is Shruti Parampara. Rigar or its antiquity do have a choice to revive such a knowledge by knowing uh, or aware to this tradition and committing to their continued use. 
सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब